I'm currently having a love-hate relationship with this. This week, it's pretty much all hate. This time on K6 UDA Radio. This is what the open spot should look like when it's connected and everything is running okay. It's, uh, it's in standby mode right now. I'm wondering how many of you guys are having this problem with your open spots. This started all of a sudden, didn't do anything different, hadn't updated any software, nothing. Just started last Saturday. Really, really weird. So the open spot right now is connected. Everything is working. This is in D-Star mode. And we're going to use the ID5100 as a test bed here. But it's doing the same thing on the uh, D74 or any other D-Star radio that I am uh, using. You can see by the, by the status page on the, uh, on the open spot software portal that it's in standby, everything is working, and it works just fine. Now, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to use the microphone here, and I'm going to key it. Open spot disconnected. So now it's showing disconnected, and on the connector or on the status page, it is actually showing that it is trying to connect but it's not going to connect because it has a DNS error so when we come over here onto the connectors page you see there in the server address it's now using the uh, it's now using the open spot alias in the server address and that is not good it ain't working so what we can do here is we'll let's use reflector 2 and we'll save it and now All right, so now we're back online, but we had to use the computer to get it there. Anyway, anyway, there has been a lot of uh, fast and furious uh, uh, messaging on the Shark RF uh, troubleshooting board about this oh, for the last three or four days now, and we're trying to get this thing worked out. <clears throat> I've been working with uh, Norbert, uh, one of the developers of, uh, of uh, the open spot. And I think he's like the head software guy. So anyway, uh, if you guys are getting this error and you're getting this thing, uh, please jump on the sharkrf.com uh, website, go into the troubleshooting, and there is a no D star connection uh, uh, topic and chime in. Let us know what you're doing. Uh, there, uh, it, it'll help all of us. So once I hooked up using this little TCP link and my iPhone and seeing if everything worked on that, it was even worse because I'm not able to bring up the web portal hooked up to the open spot and the TCP link on this for whatever reason, I don't know. And this effectively became a brick. And if I had this thing mobile with me, uh, I'd just be out of luck. Any of you guys that are using the open spot on D-Star, um, if you're changing reflectors. If you don't ever change reflectors, this probably isn't even of any interest to you. 
but if you change ref reflectors, just be aware that for whatever reason, this thing is bricking when you do it. And you're gonna need to use the, uh, the open spot web portal to fix it. Right now, his fix is what I would consider totally inadequate. Uh, this thing needs to be plug and play and right now he's trying to get everybody to uh, reconfigure their routers for 8.8.8.8 uh, .8 DNS. Well, unfortunately, AT&T ain't letting me do that on this little router that I've got here. And I'm certainly not able to do that on the iPhone which basically is kind of turning this into a $150 piece of plastic. All right, guys, if you like this video, as always, please smash that thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done it. And I really, I wanna invite you guys to check out my other channel I'm doing motorhomes, motorcycles, and travel stuff. It's gonna be really cool. Just started it, and I'd love to have you come check it out. The link is gonna be up here, down here, and uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I'm back to obsessing over this thing. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.